Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your a weekly singles love reading for Scorpio. How are you guys? Hope you all had a good weekend. Hopefully got out, maybe a little social, maybe met someone, even had a first date for some of you. Scorpio, what is the overall energy surrounding you in your love life? Single Scorpios, overall energy surrounding you in your love life. Oops, there we go. We have peace. Beautiful. And we have change in the wind. Ooh, some change coming. Here we go. A little chaos and conflict. Some of you are about ready to... Um, <laughs> Ooh, there's a change here. Chaos and conflict, competition. So I feel there's an energy of just of peace. You're in a place maybe of peace. You may have somebody here who's coming in to... Um, could be an energy of making peace with the past, but it just feels peaceful. And it is that creating this change. Could be making peace with the past, overcoming all obstacles. Something is coming to the edge. This is about uh, that edge. There's something finishing, uh, completing here. It's an energy of taking a leap of faith, overcoming obstacles, challenges. I'm going to see here. Scorpio. Oops, there we go. Yeah, burdens being lifted. Something is over here. It's making peace with the past. So something is finished. Okay, some of you may have ended something with someone. Uh, maybe you needed to get something off your chest and make peace. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, you're making a choice in love here. You have someone here, I feel. It's just sort of the burdens lifting. Something is ending. It's a cycle. Uh, letting something go. So you got your little bags packed here. All right, it's an energy of burdens being lifted, okay? It's time to let go of something. So it could be just making peace with the past you know, to do with love, letting somebody go, moving away from someone. Or maybe it's time for change, and it has to do with chaos and conflict, okay? Overcoming conflict and obstacles. Beautiful energy. Ah, I see you getting out there. I see some very positive energy. Hanging out with friends and family, getting out, socializing. This could be social media, online dating yeah you're ready to go off on a whole new path here you have a choice in love here you might even have a few people because <laughs> uh, I, I see two threes and a, a two. Oh yeah look at that you may even have someone who's a bit of a secret admirer here as well this is an energy of looking at your uh, feelings emotions it's making a choice to do with how you feel about somebody okay uh, to go down this path Facing those fears, a little shadow work. It's time for change. Yeah, it's time for change. Ending of chaos and conflict. You may have had a situation with someone who brought a lot of chaos into your life. Uh, so I do feel that change. It is shadow work. It's facing those fears. Yeah, I see a Pisces energy. It could be yourself. Just taking a little pause, a little introspection here. Looking at things from a different perspective. Some of you may have a person in your uh, social media, in your social circle, in your community, a secret admirer. Okay, they may see you as someone they want to team up with, uh, connect with. So, you know, but I do feel there's something hidden, a little bit of mystery here, too. This person's looking at that energy. You can have a Pisces around you. I also see a Gemini. And some Cancer energy as well. This is, uh, you know, seeing things from a different perspective with chaos and conflict. It's just time for change. And it looks like a change of perspective after facing some kind of fears, okay? To do with feelings, emotions, something being hidden. A uh, little introspection here. And then we have the hermit. Beautiful. little Virgo energy. Someone spending a little time alone. Someone... You may have been spending a little time alone just feeling at peace, but I do feel it's time to get back out there, okay? Getting out with friends or family, dating, a little bit of socializing. Uh, there it is right there, yeah, facing those fears. It's time, to, it's time for change, you see, after a period of a pause, a little introspection. Beautiful. Spending a little time alone, looking forward towards, you know, this energy. It's overcoming obstacles, going down that path. I think you have a person who wants to approach you. Yeah, so the energy of healing, shedding, letting go of something and making a decision. Ooh, I think you got a person who's about to take a leap of faith towards you. It's a couple of scenarios, yeah. You got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody here who knows what they want. So it looks like there's someone who's going through the energy of knowing what they want and going after it. King of Wands energy, someone who's not afraid to take action. So 
So someone who's letting go of something or they're just making that decision uh, to approach you. It could be someone who's secretly admiring you. It may look, they may be looking to see if there's competition. This is someone who doesn't really want to start conflict, but they're generally not afraid of competition. They're not afraid of competition, but I feel like they don't want to create some kind of chaos. So whatever is, something's happening, it's happening uh, to the point where there's some kind of completion coming to the edge, taking that leap of faith. Ooh. You could be in an energy where you're just kind of, you know, being at peace, spending time alone. But I actually feel like it's this person who's contemplating. This is a life path, a journey. It's a, a decision, a judgment to let go. It could be to let go of fears. Someone who uh, may be letting go of someone else. This is a person who may be, check, like I said, checking you out in social media. They could be in your social circle. Uh, there's some things that I feel maybe they don't know as well, that they're trying to find out, a little bit of mystery. Ooh, there you are, Scorpio. Ah, see what this Ten of Wands is all about. This is, you know, the Ten of Wands is, you know, you know, like any card, it has its positive and negative energy. In this case, I feel like it's some kind of burden being lifted. It's time to end something. You may have had a person who wasn't pulling their weight in a relationship. They weren't being responsible, reliable. You couldn't count on this person. So it's somebody who may have put a lot of responsibility upon you. So I feel like you're taking responsibility for yourself, I feel, to put an end to something. So there's this energy of being at peace, maybe peace with the past. You know, just spending a little time alone, taking a little bit of a pause. Like it could be yourself. Yeah, it kind of looks like it too, but I see this person here too. This could be yourself here too, Scorpio. <laughs> uh, but I feel this is you here. Yeah, so there's this energy, see? Releasing something, letting something go, taking a little pause, a little break. It has to do with a fresh new start. you got someone who wants to make you an offer here. Uh, they could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, another Scorpio. I see Libra. Oh, yeah, so this is about chemistry. You have someone who may not be right for you. So it's taking that pause, tempering your passions, your emotions, being patient, finding that inner balance. It's pulling back and looking to see if someone is right for you, if they're a good fit with your, you know, in your life, in your family, with your friends, your social circle. Uh, interesting. I think you got a person who's kind of waiting for the right opportunity here. They maybe have, you know, ended something with someone as well. Look at you looking at that energy there. Someone more compatible. Yeah, you want someone compatible. You want someone who's a team player, cooperates, compromise. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, there's that energy. But, yeah, there's a little bit. You've got a little fear or you're doing a little shadow work or there's some things that you don't know. You may not even realize here uh, that you have someone who's wanting to check you out. In fact, maybe you're both checking each other out here. It's possible, too. We have the moon twice. A little Cancer Pisces energy. Shadow work, facing those fears. A little. I, I feel like it's more like a little bit of mystery uh, maybe even some romantic feelings here. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Let's dig into that. There we go. Yeah. So it's knowing when to walk away from someone who's not right. Moving towards something emotionally fulfilling. Leaving the chaos and the conflict behind. You may not see eye to eye with someone here. So you're taking a little pause. See, and this person may not be right for you. So that's that temperance energy. It's tempering the passions. Tempering your emotions. Okay. Being patient here. You're definitely moving towards something new, though. Tell me about peace. Oh, yeah, you're moving. You're getting out there, meeting new people, socializing. Oh, beautiful energy. Some of you are moving away, maybe even you could be moving away from a particular community as well, maybe even relocating. It's possible, but it looks like moving away from uh, something, maybe a group of people uh, could be getting off online dating, social media. <laughs> you got a person heading towards you as you're walking away is what it feels because it's kind of going back and forth here. Three of Pentacles. There we are. Yeah, you've got a person heading in your direction here. This is someone who uh, is decisive. They're not 100% sure. There's still things that they don't know. Little mystery, you know, there's some things that are unknown yet. So I do see the pause. 
Yeah, I, I think you got a person here who's leaving behind something here. Now, I don't know if they're just getting off of online dating, social media, releasing competition. Um, really could be a lot of different energies. But look at that. It's about uh, setting yourself free. Something, it's a little sad energy. It's an energy of being free, releasing something and moving towards something more successful. It's time for change. So there's something to do with time uh, and patience here. Yeah, see, moving towards emotional fulfillment, beautiful. Yeah, you have a person headed towards you. I do think you are ready for love. Uh, I do feel that um, you're kind of doing a little bit of shadow work, facing your fears, okay? Maybe a little afraid you're not going to have success, but I feel like you're both in that energy because you don't know everything about each other. There's still things that are yet to be known with the moon, you see? Both of you. I think you both want success here, but I do see that energy of setting yourself free, going off on an adventure, seeing love as an adventure. Tell me about this hermit energy. Oh yeah, a little cancer energy. This is someone who's very much in control of their emotions, using the power they have to move forward. Somebody is leaving something behind here that's not emotion fulfilling. Someone who's not right for them. They're ready for a fresh new start. You have a person who sees you as just right. They see you as fitting in with their friends and family. Uh, I see somebody moving away from the Three of Cups, though, too. <clears throat> you may have a group of people, or it's online dating, social media, whatever it is, community. Someone's looking for a soulmate here. This could be someone who's kind of going from place to place, uh, hoping to meet that right person. I, I do see positive energy, though. This is actually quite beautiful. Uh, the chariot here, someone using the power they have to move forward uh, towards success, making a decision to let go. Okay, someone's letting go of somebody. They're releasing them. It's also an energy of healing and a decision to go after what they want. Ooh, judgment there we go oh yeah you got a person making a choice here you got a person coming towards you this is their life path this is someone who kind of you know has their own path their own habits uh could be somebody with a little bit of ego it could be releasing the ego <laughs> hmm scorpio I feel some very strong Pisces and Cancer energy here, too. This is interesting. And there's the Pisces. Yeah. Oh, the hanged man. Twice. Two people looking at each other from a different perspective. Two people here taking a little pause to go within, to look at things differently. It's about looking at things different, doing things different. This could be someone who's different than your usual type. If you have a type... I think you and this person both do. I feel there's some common cards here to do with facing those fears about not having success. It's also a sense of releasing the ego, not letting the ego control. See, look at that. A head over heart decision here. The hanged man. A little pause here, a little introspection. Oh, yeah, you've got a person wanting to court you. Someone who wants to court you. They're coming in to take action here. Oh, yeah, a little Pisces energy. This is someone who's trusting their intuition. You know, they could be a secret admirer, kind of keeping things to themselves. You see, there's something that they possibly don't know as well. They do. I do sense this person may have Pisces in their chart. If not, it's Cancer. Little Virgo energy, spending a little time, someone's pulled in a couple different directions, but it's about staying on course, controlling their emotions, not letting their emotions and their ego control them. Ooh, chaos and conflict, taking action, beautiful, yeah, yeah, look at that energy. Someone here has been doing a little work on themselves putting in the effort got a person who's going to reach out they're going to offer you a cup they're going to keep some of their feelings to themselves at first till they're sure because they have a little bit of fear uh, they do want this to be successful uh, i feel this is someone who's coming in to take action but they're overcoming some obstacles or challenges here uh, i do feel it it is challenging for this person to be emotional as well to offer up those emotions but they're working on it so i do see someone talking to you this is also an energy with the fish in the cup you see some of you are releasing someone that creates a lot of chaos and conflict as well because i do see the release letting go 
okay, of a particular person, because I do see the lovers up there, knowing when someone's not right for you, making a decision to walk away from somebody, to move towards someone new, getting out, meeting new people. Uh, it's very positive. I feel there's some kind of good news. So, yeah, some of you are going to let go of someone who creates chaos and conflict. They don't really want to put the work in. And then you have somebody who does. So I feel that's going to be your choice. And that's probably where you're going to make your decision. Uh, but I do feel like you have a person here. It could be somebody apologizing. But generally with this energy, it's someone who keeps their feelings to themselves possibly a secret admirer. They're going within, taking a little pause, seeing within themselves. Yeah. Very well could be yourself. That this just isn't going to work. Okay, that's what I feel. So there's someone here who may be too much work. Okay, they don't really want the responsibilities. You know, make sure nobody... It's, it's an energy where someone's putting all the weight on your shoulders is what I feel it's telling me here. And that's why you're going to pull back. You're going to make this choice in love to walk away, okay, from someone. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment. Where is my soulmate? Getting out there, meeting new people. Yeah, you may have a few fears to face. If you've been single for a while or... Because um, I do see a little bit of a transition energy here. This energy of um, temperance, tempering the passions, emotions, getting out of your head, facing those fears, the shadow work about something not being successful. Uh, you may have had an unsuccessful relationship in the past. Maybe it's time to look at why. Maybe it's because you have a type. Okay, so you see that energy. It's about having a type. It's time for something different. Time to try a different kind of person. Okay, a different kind of energy. So it's not letting your emotions control you possibly. So that little soul searching. I think it's another person too because of the moon. Someone's going through a similar energy. But I do see an energy here where there's someone who creates chaos and conflict by the stories they tell themselves in their head. It's also somebody who isn't very sincere. So this is where you're going to know. Just trust your intuition. Okay, I think there's... You know, you already know everything you need to know. And I do feel like you have someone who wants to court you and then someone who's not very sincere. You see, this is someone who doesn't really want the responsibility of a relationship. They want you to do the work, but you're starting to recognize they're too much work. Yeah, you've got a someone here with some Pisces. You've got someone here who's sincere, somebody who wants to court you and date you. It will take them a little time to open up emotionally. Uh, lovely yeah so you got a choice i feel like i say something's about to come to the edge it's making that choice and decision now if it's not you it's this person walking away from someone else okay or online dating social media literally walking away from some a particular group of people as well it's time for something new tell me about the three of cups yeah see it's a uh, crossroads in life a path how to approach a situation someone wants to approach you feel like they're they're just sort of hanging there uh, waiting to approach you if you do have competition or people giving you a lot of attention you may be you know this person may be finding you a little unapproachable not i don't think by your actions not when i see this uh, queen of cups sitting right there <laughs> yeah could be someone who feels there's competition as well so they're looking for some kind of clarity i feel here but this is someone who's going to approach and I do feel with the King of Cups there, it says you've got, you know, I see a Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Why is this coming to the edge all about here? There we go. Yeah. So this is you speaking your truth. Yeah. Speaking up, being very wise, trusting your intuition. This is the person you're going to know. The person who's emotionally available, emotionally open, that offers the big cup. Well, this is someone who offers the sippy cup. You know, they create chaos and conflict, uh, a lot of drama. So it's somebody who you're walking away from this person who creates a lot of drama. They create chaos and conflict, uh, maybe even between your family and friends, whatever that situation. So it looks like it could be you, but it could be this person as well. Yeah, see, there's an energy of releasing, letting go, uh, letting go of old relationship baggage, cutting someone out. It's an energy of healing. So I do see that little bit of a transition of releasing. This is where you are loving yourself first, making smart decisions, being very wise. You already know. You already know. Yeah, you're going to know when you meet this person, okay? You're going to know this King of Cups, emotionally available, mature. This person is not. 
Okay, so this person's coming in to take action. They're coming in to fight for what they want. And they're also emotionally available, mature. They're balanced, you see. This person is not. So this is where you're looking at it. You can see here, being very wise, this person wants you to do all the work. They want you to carry the weight. Uh, you see this person is not responsible, reliable. Okay, that's what you're going to look at. So it's about being very wise, just trusting your intuition. This person is actually trusting their intuition as well. So I feel they have a little Pisces in their chart. Uh, somebody here may have some cancer. Someone who's pulled in two different directions as well, you see. you got a choice to make. If it's not you, it's them, okay? Now, it could be just an energy, too, where you're kind of reflecting on a relationship with someone who's kind of indecisive. They weren't 100% sure. They may have rushed in. I do think you got someone who just wants to be free. Honestly, I do. I feel like you got this person who kind of tells you a story. A little, it could be a little narcissism. Someone who doesn't really pull their weight. They don't take responsibility. They don't want the responsibility of a relationship. So this is what you want is a person who puts in the effort. You see, there's this contradictory energy because it's two people, two energies. It's a decision to let go of something, a decision to start something solid. This is someone who's offering you, look at that, there's room to blossom and grow when you see that Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, a solid, reliable offer, someone who knows exactly what they want. Uh, and they're emotionally mature, emotionally available, although a little cautious. Yeah, a little bit cautious. Tell me about more about this King of Cups. There we go, yeah, it's an emperor, someone who knows what they want. There you are. Scorpio, beautiful energy. Yeah, you know what you want and you're not settling. So does this other person. <laughs> you see, you got the king and queen of wands, somebody fiery. And they also have, so they may have um, fire in their chart. They may have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Could be two Scorpios, but I do see the Cancer Pisces energy here quite strong. Dating and courting, someone who's going to approach you. A little cautious, okay? They're a little bit cautious about who they offer their feelings to. So they will keep a few feelings to themselves, but they're trusting their intuition. This is someone who's coming, going after exactly what they want, an emperor energy. Beautiful. And you know what you want too, uh, and you're not settling. So you know, you already know who you want here. I feel like once you get through this energy, uh, facing those fears, you may have someone who's very secretive. They keep secrets to themselves. They're someone who's just looking for attention. You see, somebody who just wants attention. Uh, you're not giving anyone attention. You're not chasing this person. You're not going to feed anybody's ego here. So I do see that energy of a little pause, looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things differently. You want to be happy. You want emotional fulfillment. So it's about recognizing and seeing who makes you happy, what you need uh, to be happy. It's not always what you want. Sometimes it's what you need as well. I see that energy here. So lovely, yeah. You are definitely uh, in this beautiful energy of letting go of someone. You're healing, you're finding your inner balance. This is your person. This is your hopes and dreams. This person sees you as their hopes and dreams as well. <laughs> Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so you've got someone who's right for you and someone who's not. It's recognizing it, it's seeing it, being wise, trusting your intuition. If something feels right, go for it. If it doesn't, then you know. That's the mystery, the confusion, the secrets, the things that are hidden that need to come out in the open. Tell me about the moon. Yeah, see, finding the strength and the confidence to know, to move away, to set yourself free, to move towards someone more successful. Yeah, so it's an energy of kind of keeping things to yourself, looking out for yourself, looking out for number one. I see you taking care of yourself, uh, dressing nice. Uh, you're making plans for the future here. Ooh, some of you may be going out alone as well. If you do go out alone, you have a person. I do see an energy of this crossroads in life, this choice. Okay, some of you could simply be just thinking of new places to go, to socialize, to meet people who are different. It's time for a different place, different kind of people. That's where I feel this crossroads is, this choice. But it's also a person who is wanting to approach you. Okay, you may have a choice between two. And it's looking. Do you fit with their friends and family? I see you walking away from a situation. It could be their friends, their family. 
um, whatever it is, even a community, whatever that is, it's not right. Something is off, okay? The chemistry is off. It doesn't feel right, and you just know. That's your deep knowing with the Queen of Swords, your inner wisdom telling you. You know what you want, don't settle. This is what you want, someone who's strong and knows what they want. You want an emperor. <laughs> you got someone here, you know, the little fish tail. You got this person who really isn't right. They don't really put a lot of effort into anything here. Yeah, you want someone who puts in the effort. That's your choice between two. Choosing someone who's just right. Two people who work together to build something. That's what you want here. Three of Pentacles. Uh, someone who knows what they want. You got someone who doesn't know what they want. They rush in. They rush out. Once they get what they want, you see, uh, they get that emotional fulfillment for themselves. They take off in another direction. So this is you taking your power back, staying in control, not letting your emotions control you, making a head over heart decision here. Uh, and knowing beautiful energy you've got this Scorpio okay whatever this situation is I see you taking care of you looking out for number one keeping some of your feelings to yourself but I do see you having to face a few fears okay yep you may have this person coming towards you you may need to face this person you may have something that you need to communicate with them uh, I do see the energy of just two people not on the same page seeing eye to eye okay yeah where you may never so let's grab this deck and grab a couple of outcome cards. So I see the star. This is your hopes and dreams, and you are going to speak your truth. See, you know all that glitters is not gold. You see, it's taking off the mask, speaking your truth, seeing the truth in a situation. All that glitters is not gold. Okay? Yeah, because you may have had someone here that you felt was the right person. There may have been some kind of chemistry, but you got to remember chemistry isn't everything. Uh, and to, to be honest, sometimes chemistry can burn out very quickly. But I do see that emotional offer. I do see uh, a new beginning coming towards you. Yeah, it's a faded energy. You've got some a faded connection here, something that's meant to be. Yeah. It's two people taking off the mask, communicating, sharing their feelings and emotions. You got someone who doesn't. There's someone who's lacking that sincerity. They only offer one little cup, nothing more. They don't want to build anything. They want you to do the work. So, yeah, beautiful. So I do see a faded connection. Yeah, see, it's faded. You have someone who's not for you. You're that cookie in the middle. <laughs> Uh-huh. You have to make a choice. This is a life path or a choice between two. Uh, could be, you know, where you're just comparing somebody uh, new coming in too, not wanting to make, you know, mistakes that you've made in the past. You know, it's a little bit of shadow work, a little bit of facing those fears. But I do see a sense of freedom. I do see you moving towards something more emotionally fulfilling, you see. This is time for change. It's time for a different type of person. Uh, and, it, you know, it is an energy of um, attracting the same kind of people over and over again. Okay, so there's something to look at there, a little food for thought. It's trying a different type of person. And I do feel, um, you know, some of you may have a particular type of person that you keep choosing a similar thing that attracts you to somebody uh, or that is attracting them to you. And it could be the energy that you put in a lot of work. You offer up yourself, you know, you start loving up on this person. You start uh, cooking and taking care of them, very loving and nurturing. You do, though, the truth be told, though, I'll tell you, you do lo like to have someone to nurture and care for, but you need reciprocity. You're not getting reciprocity. You're the one doing all the work. So there's something there. Uh, beautiful. Looking out for yourself. So I do see you in a single mode, being strong and being brave, setting yourself free, going towards this emotional fulfillment. And you're going to know because I feel that you're just in that energy where you're knowing. OK, all that glitters is not gold. It's about taking off the mask. It's about being yourself, being you. OK, and it's also about having someone you can be yourself with that doesn't take advantage. Uh, they don't come in just looking for attention. You see? Beautiful energy. One more card on all that glitters. See what other messages it gives you. You've got this, Scorpio. Yeah, so there you've got a new person coming in. Uh, very nice. You've got something new starting. Uh, you're realizing that you have someone here who's just looking for attention. Don't let your ego control you either, okay? Face those fears. Look at that energy. 
you know, take care of yourself and number one it's about making plans for the future planning to have success so it's going into a relationship with a positive energy a positive vibration beautiful you know you may have people who are very attracted to you because you're very loving and nurturing and you care for them but they really don't want to share any responsibilities in a relationship you're the one carrying the weight that's what it wants you to look at here when you find that person who uh, takes action fights for what they want they not only will make you a solid offer there'll be emotions involved that's your person you have an emperor here this is someone who's going to go after what they want this is someone who's not afraid of hard work doing that inner work beautiful Scorpio, I see the sun shining, I see a new person, all that glitters is not gold, taking off the mask, being able to be yourself, okay, so we have a message, a communication with a bird, I see a four-leaf clover, so you have some good luck coming towards you, and I do feel it's because of this energy, I feel like you got a person who just wants to be single. I do. I feel like you got someone who's just a bit of a free spirit. They just want to be single. Um, I feel like you're kind of in that energy too, but you do want love. I do feel like you do want love, but you're in that single mode. But you have a person coming towards you who just wants to be single. They just want attention. I do think you're going to recognize it, okay? And this is where you're going to make your decision, is recognizing this person. So they, somebody really doesn't want to put the work into a relationship. There's that angel. There you go. Finding that balance within yourself, pulling back, looking at this person, seeing this person. Uh, they're secretive. They keep things to themselves. Uh, they just, you know, that, that's just an energy of somebody who just really wants to come in when they want attention. This is a free spirit energy. Uh, I do think you're going to release yourself. There's this dragon. Now, someone did tell me once what that dragon means. And there we have the hanged man energy, uh, the temperance energy there. Taking a little bit of a pause, it's about balance, looking at things, looking into the future about what you want. You want emotional fulfillment. You want to be happy. So I do see you freeing yourself from a situation or a person, okay? Or you're just looking at something from the past here uh, about teamwork, cooperation, compromise, somebody who's compatible. So you had somebody who wasn't really a team player, I feel. Somebody who chases you, but they're indecisive, you see? Uh, they rush in, they rush out. I'm going to grab two more charms here for Scorpio. There we go. We have a ring and a key. Yeah, so you've got this ring and the key. I see this dragon. So this is someone kind of slaying dragons, fighting their fears, right? Doing that shadow work is what I feel. I see this energy with the turtle moving towards something more abundant, something better. So a slower process. I do see a little bit of slower energy here. It's likely a transitional kind of energy you're going through. Uh, but whatever it is, it's moving in your favor. So let's grab some letters here and see if that helps. Give it a chance to play out. You have good luck. There's positive news coming towards you. Uh, this new, I think you're going to meet somebody. And then once you meet this new person, I feel like you're going to be at this crossroads, this choice. And it's going to be a, you're going to have to face something or somebody and tell them that you're moving on. Okay. Yeah, it kind of looks that way for some of you. So we have a J, a P, a K, an S, a D. A U. Sometimes I see that as a U-turn when the chariot's there. Uh, it's taking your power back, moving away, moving towards someone more successful. But I actually feel like there's a person who's coming towards you. Yeah, beautiful energy. So it'll be up to you to decide um, if you've got two people, which is the right one. Just trust your intuition if it feels right. Right? If you feel safe, you can be yourself. It's taking off the mask. Two people taking off the mask, revealing themselves. Their innermost selves, facing those fears. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what you're going to have to do with this new person. They're doing it too. They're, they're also in that energy because they know what they want. It's like you're worth fighting for. Okay, beautiful energy. But I do see you moving away from chaos and conflict with someone who's just not right for you. Okay, uh, and I'm hoping you all can recognize who that is, that energy. 
So look at the initials, give it a chance to play out. It could be a word, first and last initials, could be places where you meet, social circles, places in your community. There's going to be a couple of events. Uh, you may meet a couple people at two different places or two different events, and you're going to have to make a decision. I like it because I see this two people taking off that mask, uh, two people revealing their innermost selves, their fears, fear of maybe it won't be successful. I feel like you've got this opportunity for success. Uh, here you know what you want you're not settling okay this is an energy where you're taking action in your own life fighting for the things that you want you want you want a partner who's the same someone creative someone who's passionate that knows what they want you want the same in a partner and i think this person sees that same in you so take care i wish you the very best and we'll see you soon